guys that are new to uh, the tournament scene, you're not very experienced with pick and banning because it's it's not in the Strife client to do so. Uh, so pretty much all, only for in-houses and tournaments you do the pick and ban phase uh, because we do not allow multiple heroes on either side of the teams. Just one one hero, if it's picked, it's picked, it's done. As you've seen on the uh, the last 10 European Strife Cups. So yeah, let's see what they're gonna ban. I think in their time. They're oh, banning they're... Rook. A Rook ban. That nice. was uh, from Quarter's death. So that's DR's ban. That's DR's ban, is it? Yes, it A is. A Rook ban. So who's playing on the EXO team anyway? Uh, on the EXO team, that's uh, Mad Samurai and Do It from EXO. Uh, and then we have uh, Sariat from Snacks. We also have the Talos. And we have XXRSK, which is static. Static, all right, all right. So do I feel a rip pick coming? <laughs> Maybe, let's see. I don't know. In the finals last time he picked rip, it was pretty uh, ballsy to do so. It didn't quite work out for him, but it was pretty ballsy to do so. Um, a hill ban. Yeah, expected hill. The hill, Gokong and Hera, usually the, the the heroes to get picked or banned, um, yeah, very much expected, but uh, not very surprised by this by this ban too. So now they're picking again. Let's see. Yes. Now it is Yar's pick. A melody pick, okay. So I think I think Tarash is gonna go on melody. He's a good melody player, usually. So would be surprised if anyone else would go there. And they gave raid to the anti enemy team. Yeah. Because of the last draft it would be pretty lame to pick Ray. It could happen. It does happen. But uh yeah, this is uh this is fair I say. A very good team comp looking at it, but Chester Herrer Melody, that's that's a very strong team comp. Yeah. They just need some uh some pure tanks in my opinion. I I, I do Maybe say an initiator. Yeah, but the other enemy team also needs an initiator. I mean Claudessa, Ray and Moxie it's not bad, but you need some extra push. You have a lot of magic damage on your team, you need an um initiation somewhere. Yeah. You need someone to say, Hey, we're taking this fight now, whether you like it or not. We need someone to butt hurt the enemy team. Some pretty much, yes. yeah. Hmm. So let's see. By the way, guys, those are unaware of the European Strife Cup. Most of these builds will end up at uh, Strife. Some of them, at least. Strifebuilds.net. And yeah, make sure to click on follow the channel as well. Uh, if you want to stay tuned of the next episodes as well. Um, an Aya pick, that's surprising. That's a lot of magic damage on their team. Yeah, I, I wouldn't expect an Aya at all. Yeah, maybe they will build an AD carry, uh, Claudette. So you, you never know, it could happen. <laughs> uh, but I, by the looks of it now, in my opinion, there's lots of magic damage on their team. So yes. I would assume that uh, DR will build some barrier tokens or, or dampening cloaks. Yeah. I think they will build dampening cloaks either way. <laughs> and also kind of squishy, to be honest. So I think then, I think like a shank maybe or a featherstone would be an ideal pick for uh, XO. I agree. Ooh, oh. and they took the Featherstone away. Yeah, that, that was gonna happen. Pretty much. Uh, so there's... and a Midnight. A mm. lot of magic damage. Midnight does deal physical damage. Also a lot of magic. Uh, 
But yeah, they do have two tanks. Uh, yeah. While uh, DR has one tank, but two beefy AD carries. Yeah. And even Chester can get really beefy. Don't forget Chester. Yeah, he can get really beefy. So yeah, well that that does it for the for the pick and ban phase. So. If both teams are ready in the lobby, can you clarify that? Then I will swap the scenes back to Strife. Uh, they are not ready, I don't think so. We still need Eiffel. Oh, Eiffel is back. But uh, the Prali is in here. I don't think he should be in here. Alright, let's ready. see. I'm there now. If you can see everyone's ready, then I will just kick and start the game. Yeah, uh, Exo is not ready yet. I haven't seen. I'm just clarifying with them. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Is everything looking fine on the stream, by the way? Every they're ready as well? Yes, they are ready. Alright, then I'm gonna kick Prolly and then I'm gonna start the match. Cool. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, pretty much guys that are watching, uh, the playstyle revolves also around the pets they pick. You can see in front of it, like if you see a lot of Fikis, you, you might think they're gonna jungle or do some uh, uh, lots of gankings or stuff like that. Or if they're gonna pick a lot of tortoises or tops, then you, you know your playstyle revolves around you in combination with your pet. This is uh, a feature of Shrive that is uh, pretty common. You can pretty much see in a pub game how someone is gonna play by just looking at what pet, pets they they picked. Yeah. I am getting feedback that the, the um what's it called? Uh the stream is fine. So yeah. That's good. All right, well, that's cool. Let's see. Hey, here we go. There we go. There so let's go. see what the, what pets they picked. I'm I'm really wondering what combinations uh, with the heroes and the pets. And who's on who, of course. Snoxy, can, can you say the, the DR team? I cannot see them right now. All right, then I'll, then I'll start with the XO team. It's Claudessa with Tops, uh, Ray with Bounder, Aya with Pinster, uh, Midnight with Tops. And Moxie with... Uh, with Mystic. Yeah. Uh, then we have, uh, on DR's team, we have a Tarosh playing Bastion with tops, and then we have. Let me just take let's take a look here. That's, have a, quarters. that's a lot of slows with the Tarrush uh, on Bastion with tops, and uh, Citizen and Evil Noob both with Bounder. Yeah, that's... yeah. Then we see the uh, also the regular pickup on uh, on Eiffel's uh, Harrower with the Pincer. Mm hmm. And what's what's on quarterstaff? Is that Ficky or I is that Luster? Tell. I think it would be probably Ficky if I know quarterstaff. On my way, bottom. But you know, with with Arise, let's see, yeah, it's a baby Ficky. That's oh, why that's it was why hiding in the see. corner. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. So let's let me check if I can uh, if I can filter out the items somewhere for you guys. There we go. There we go. Thanks to Snoxy boy over here and uh, some of the DR guys, they fixed the spectator bug. So, uh, well, that's, it that's... was not us actually; it was uh, a third party. But uh, yeah, this third party didn't want their name on on it, so yeah, we uh, said it was us. <laughs> ah, wow. Oh, well, I said it was me. Is <laughs> Snoxy boy she fixed this? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let's see, um, yeah, you, okay, Evil Noob starts off with a Fellblade with a Mana Regen in it and with Hastecraft. Uh, 
Chester starts off with two clarity shards. Uh, well, Citizen and Ivor are picking the throwing axe with usually the health regen in it, and with Desolation, it deals 10% more damage to non hero units. That includes yeah. Baldirs and objectives. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, uh, that's a really good enchant on it. Uh, if you don't have that and you like to play bot lane, you should probably get that. Yes, it's uh, it's used by most players even. <laughs> Quarter staff is saying sorry, no Buford this time. Oh uh, yeah, I cry every time. Uh, XO was trying to get a quick uh, gold camp there, but it wasn't up yet. <laughs> oh. So uh, in mid lane, uh, the evil noob and towers have a lead by uh, by a little GPM now. Yeah, yeah. Red Samurai getting attacked there. Yeah, and uh, but Dewitt is making some... They're just poking left and right, and uh, I think they did quite well there. So let's see, the Aya is pushing Eiffel back from top lane, and pretty much damaging Eiffel. Uh, Snacks Sariot, is it? Sariot, is it? Yeah, yeah Sariot. Doing yeah, a good job on Eiffel, because Eiffel has trouble in the beginning always, but it's usually a really strong contender there. Yeah, especially because he's also playing Harrower, which is not... That strong early game. So that's good. That's that's really good. So let's yeah. see what top lane is heading up. So you can see Static is playing Ray, but Thomas is in some issue there. Yeah. And getting damage quite quite good. He's taking a lot of damage there from Citizen and Quarterstaff. They're doing a good job. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. Uh, so let's see what, what what did they pick off at mid, by the way. So you can see Claudessa with the Silver Buckler with resistance, grants 3 extra resistance. Yeah. And did the uh, Moxie have any enchant? No, he didn't. Uh, Moxie doesn't have any enchant, does he? No, no but he, he has it with the Clarity Shard, so for the extra mana mana regeneration. He does have it with the Clarity Shard? Oh, then that's, yes. then that's bugged. <laughs> because I see it with the Health Reach Shard for some reason. Okay, oh. they did. They did, they did. Mad Samurai's in trouble. Wow, yeah. he almost got him down there. And so was Evil Noob. But yeah. um, both of them potioned up and uh, are ready to fight again. Top lane is still in trouble. It's very much pushed in. Talos almost goes, almost goes down by the quarterstaff uh, illusion. Yeah, it, it deals so much damage now. I don't think Static is having it. He's trying to set set something up in the from the from the brush, but c can he do so with Midnight so low? I don't think so. He does have good wa wave clear with Ray, but I'm not sure if it's enough. He's getting lots of uh, hits on him. Yeah. That was taking a lot of poke in mid lane. There was a trade going on, but nothing came of it, so. Yeah, you can see that the DR team is uh, leading uh, on really, really heavily with the GPM already. Yeah. Uh, only Eiffel is struggling against the Aya. The Aya is doing a good job there. Yeah. Even though he's not behind by much, but he is getting pushed into his tower constantly. Yeah, and this is what you need to do with Herod. Just neutralize him a bit. Yeah. And you can see that Bastion picked off a Dampening Cloak. And the Dampening Cloak of Resistance, of course. Yeah. And Melody picked up two Power Shards. Eiffel still in a bit of trouble on bot lane. But manages to get out. That's good. Cool. Top lane is also pushing in favor of DR. Yeah, definitely, definitely. They have about a hundred gold lead there already, and the game just started. Yeah. And they keep focusing the midnight. Well, Ray is so squishy, yeah. and the midnight is well, the midnight is not very. Uh, but he does have the dampening cloak. He would say that yes. the, the Ray would be a better focus, but the midnight. Yeah, I would agree. The midnight plays, I guess, aggressive, and every every time, citizen would just slow him down, and then quarterstaff does his illusion thingy. Yeah, every every time Talos uh, oversteps his boundary by just a little bit, the DR team will just go on him uh, as hard as they can, pretty much. Oh, we see a fight in mid lane. Fight in mid lane, yeah, yeah. I'm watching oh. it now. Uh, Moxie, ooh, he's got slowed by the tops and got topsed again by. By Matt Samurai, and he saved him actually there. Yeah. <laughs> they also almost got Evil Noob, but Evil Noob made it out. By uh, 
running into the brush. They seem to be in, in a lot of trouble though. For yeah, some the reason. XO. Yeah, because because their GPM, especially on mid lane, has really died down. They're really yeah. making it up. Oh, and there he goes down. And Matt Samurai has to back. Can he go out? He can go out, but ooh, that malady old level six hits and bam, done. Yeah, that's too sad. Not much, not much to do to, to do there. It's a lot of power though on the, on that malady. You already have Christian Shift picked up. Oh, but actually, Sariad got uh, Evil Noob in the bush while he was uh, recalling. Sariad being the Aya from bot lane. Oh, I did. I, I think I saw that. I heard a scream somewhere, but I didn't yeah, pay attention. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. It didn't register in my mind. <laughs> I I heard a scream though. But so so he did the uh, the Aya ult there. Yeah. Well, that's On cool. The, yeah. Which which is a huge GPM boost for him. Yeah, you, you can, can see. Yeah. He's so so far ahead uh, of of the rest of his team in GPM, and he's even ahead uh, of DR. Yeah, which is pretty GPM. good. Yeah. So let's take a look at the at the gold graphs real quick, and we can see that that uh, DR is climbing really really fast. Yeah. Yeah, and they're extending their lead at the moment. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Rodessa died on mid lane while we were. I was spectating top. <laughs> oh. I, I was looking bottom. <laughs> what, what happened to. The I bodies? don't know. I was looking bottom. She, well, she died. That's all I know. <laughs> I see, I see. So much resistance by the Bastions. Picked off the inertia boots as a second item. Mod Samurai. Is way too slow with those two tank items already. I think that's yeah. why he has issues because the bounder and the tops is just too much speed reduction. Yeah, slow. I Top lane is just the same as, as always. Talos getting pulled down. I was trying to push back the Aya. Yeah, oh, we see something on mid lane here. Moxie oh, okay. went down? Yeah, he went down to the best. And Matt Samurai is also in. Oh, Matt Samurai, Matt Samurai down. went down there as well, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. They're just crushing them mid lane. Yes. Let's see. I've, I, I told you, this really has something to do with the pets picks and the combination of the pets as well. If you're a good duo mid lane, then yeah. Eiffel getting damaged a bit. I think uh, Aya's do playing a really strong game, but top lane and mid lane are pretty much failing. Maybe they can get some good team fights going on later. Yeah. And recover in that. But at the, the moment, just keeps getting poked down. Yeah, and at the moment, there's not much what you can do. Even even they managed to poke down mid so hard that Evil Noob is trying to prepare for a gank. Yeah, on the bottom lane. And... Can Aya get out? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, Smoked, I wouldn't think so either. Stunt and ulted. Yeah. See ya! <laughs> oh, Maxi coming down as well. Trying Maybe. to prepare a double gank, but I'm not sure if he's strong enough. He died think, so many times. I think he is here just to protect the lane. Yeah. It might be, might be, because he does have the rocket boots on Moxie. Yeah. Which do does give him an extra escape, but it also stops him from having additional power. Yeah. And keep in mind, they have uh, the rocket boots have the lowest uh, movement speed increase in the game of all the boots. Well, I don't Matt know. Matt in boots, trouble actually. mid. Look that. Look at that. Samurai goes down as well. The tower is also in a lot of trouble. Yeah. They were just wrecking mid. By a lot. Oh, and it's a bad eye out ult this time. That's weird. If they can hear you. No, he, he means that there's a little, little delay on the stream. 
I will fix that after this game. Oh. Let's see, top lane's pushing. Yeah. Bastion's rotating there as well. Ooh! And the uh, Midnight. Wow. Static! Oh, instead of, he got greedy there. He just stood there. Hoping that he could could force something, but... Uh, Went down instead, yeah. Yeah. Too bad. That's well, too bad. That's well. too bad. It looks like they're getting the bottom tower also. If they're gonna play safe, uh, well then they will be unstoppable at this point. Because they have so much uh, GPM lead that it's yeah. gonna be really hard for EXO to uh, counter that. Yeah, there is hardly any counter to this. Yes. They are, they are so far ahead, yeah. Let's take a look at the gold graphs real quick. You can see they're just extending their lead and keep extending their lead with a, with a Baldir, not a tower. Uh, picks yeah. off the Ray, picks off the Midnight, the Moxie, uh, yeah, so on and so on. It's just spidering out of control mid, mid. in uh, their in DR's favor. Yeah, the Talos in a bit of trouble here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he actually got out there. It lo looks like there's coming a team fight here. A team fight might be brewing. It seems like EXO really needs some picks here and there yeah. uh, to force something back. The Aya is getting damaged by by Eiffel on bot lane and did poke him down a bit. Although Aya did a tremendous job on bot lane uh, yeah, she, early she game. Truly did. It's really hard for an Aya to carry out that. Evil Nuke missing, but does block it, and ooh, Moxie missed his ult, and the Chester going in as well. Yeah, nice. The rocket boots there might just have saved him. I'm not sure. They're still in a lot of trouble, and Citizen yeah. slows him, oh. and he goes down as well. Yeah, now when he got hit there, it was the point of no return. Well, top lane, uh, you see, Bastion running. To be in some trouble. Ray didn't do nearly enough damage with that. He doesn't have yeah. the, the power boots yet. He hardly even has damage yet. And Bastion going in for greedy, a bit greedy. Does he go down? Ooh! Almost going down. Wow, 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 wow. Static running away knowing he can't do anything here. I wish Static saved his ult for that. Yeah, that would have been cool. Too bad, too bad. So let's see what the R is planning now. You can see Eiffel still going on with the farm. What is that going bottom? Evil Noob going mid. Oh, Dewitt is already dead there. And Evil Noob getting out oh, as we well. Ju I just saw a lightning bolt s s flicker in the in the screen. I went mid and you saw Moxie woof, just disappear in the ground. <laughs> yeah. Buried. Midnight and Mad Samurai coming bottom here. Oh, but DR knows. They had that uh, observatory. I think Evil Noob is just communicating with the team real quick before he does something. Maybe, yeah. maybe waiting on the. To see if he can force something out. The Midnight is trying to battle Quarterstaff, but Quarterstaff is speeding up and takes down the Midnight. Aya is trying to force something with Samurai, but yeah, but they lack so much damage. Yeah, the lack of damage is probably what's holding them the most back right now. Yeah, yeah, because what what we can see on the uh, DR side is that Taurus picked up a Wind Rush with with full health with of tenacity, and it's whoa, yeah. Ray's almost got poked down there by the Melody. Yeah. Real quick. And he has the inertia boots as well, so lots of tank uh, full support. 
supporters as well. Eiffel yeah. is just building full restore against the Aya. And Terra, I should say, is going for the Baldir here, as we can see. A quick Baldir, yeah. Yeah. Just a sneaky one. Yeah, they they can't really much it. do much to contest it. They probably knew they were doing Baldir, but what, what can you do with this lead? I mean. Yes. I agree. They need farm. I mean, if you're gonna go solo and uh, try to stop them, then you're just gonna feed them more at this stage. Exactly. They're pushing down the mid tower now, DR. Three mines on Tarash and it barely did even, even any damage. Tarash is getting ulted, did slow it a bit, trying yeah. to get out. Met he actually gets out. How about Quarterstaff? He, he might not get out here. Oh, it looks like he is. Wow, well, just got two picks. Even that Rayo did three picks and didn't get too much damage done. No respect from DR for XO, they're just smashing them at this point. Well, I would hardly say any respect. They're just pushing their lead. Of course, of course, they're doing all they can. Yeah. But in such a manner that they're just smashing their opponents. They're like just pushing it to the edge, see how far they can go. And uh, it worked out greatly for them. Yeah. They are doing really good in this match. I think that's an odd golden protector by uh, by the midnight as well. Of restoration. Let me see. Yeah. Although I do kind of like the restoration enchantment um, for certain situations, though. We do see a kind of tanky uh, hybrid Chester, I would say. The Christian shift does give him extra damage. The inertia boots. Uh, gives him the tankiness, the the health. Yeah, I think he's going for this uh, a bit more. I think he's going for the uh, the damage a bit more as due to them being so much in uh, in the lead that he just got the crystalline ship. C Citizen is trying to force something. Melody's going in real quick. Does so much damage and ults right down. It's probably the tankiest character on their team, but just one ult and half his HP is just gone. Melted. Yeah. That's how many items they are ahead, and that's what they do. So they're now they're just focusing. The, the, the top generator for DR. Yeah, they're still they're still focusing down the tier two on uh, bot lane and trying to protect it. Well, top gen is just in, in so much trouble, and it goes yeah. down. They can't stop it. Uh, Moxie rocket boots in and just goes down as well. Evil Noob, I think Evil Noob is. Uh, yeah, Evil Noob went down. Finally, yeah. uh, uh, a kill, but Matt Samurai has to trade for his own life. Yeah. You can see on the teams of XO, Matt Samurai died six times. Uh, the Midnight died five times. And lots of surprising tanks got focused down a lot this yeah. game. And the Moxie went down seven times. Uh, don't forget that, of course. Well, on the on the DR side, it's just Evil Noob that died twice, and that's about it. Yeah. Which they have a quick Sindara as well. And now they're f also focusing the Baldir, I think. Yeah, it seems to be. And I think... I, I, really, I really do think Exo knows. They just can't contest it by GPM-wise. They're, they're so far behind that, that it's just... Even experience-wise, they're really far behind. So it's a combination of those. You need more picks on that to, to force something. Yeah. And <laughs> there's an eye out there, but missed it as well. I think they're just waiting with the third ball there. Um, let's let's take a look at the, at the graph real quick as well. The video just noticed that oh. some of the viewers were wondering about it. They're just piling. Oh, Matt Samurai went down as well. And wow. So it's Dark Wave, it's Kaidos, and they took down the whole team. Wow. Yeah. Just wow. 
Dark wave you you yeah. can see the spiraling out of control. There's no coming back from this, guys. This is GG. They're even calling it GG. The gold graph is also spiraling out of control. It's insane. It never went back in their favor. It's. Uh, I hope they will play a better second game. I think it has something to yes. do with the picks and bans as well. In my opinion, they it might have. They did lack physical damage. Yeah. And there we go. That's game. Congratulations yeah, yeah. to DR. Wow. Nice. They will move on against ERN. Yes. I'm quickly showing everyone the build, so if you guys watch the review, you can see who built what. And there we go.